girl. Hey guys, welcome back to ACR Outdoors. Yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing a bit of hunter orange reflective stuff here just because uh, deer season, hunting season is in full swing. So when we get out into the field and stuff, I like to be in my hunter orange. But uh, it's been uh, quite the challenge actually training the Cooper's Hawk, especially the hunting from the glove part. She tends to ride on my glove until uh, she gets her first chase off the glove. And then I struggle to get her to come back down to the lure because she's just too preoccupied about flying and chasing things. So I've been kind of just going with it when she wants to just hunt from the trees and stuff. So we've been kind of just pushing around underneath her, trying to stay. There's this been this one fence row that I've been heading down to a couple times. We, we bumped, I didn't get it on film, but um, we had bumped a woodcock out that she almost got. Um, so yeah, we were heading back down there. So we were there yesterday and I also been working on trying to run scout my uh, English setter underneath her to help flush stuff. So I've been walking with her on the glove and getting her used to the dog running around underneath and she's getting much better. And as you'll see in this video, she doesn't seem to care if the dog's pushing stuff out. So you'll see some wicked acrobatics from uh, a cooper sock and in their natural environment it's pretty amazing to see them flying so uh, it's a pretty cool video and yeah if you guys like these videos don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and the bell and we'll see you guys on our next acr outdoors adventure Oh, that was crazy. She just grabbed that right out of the tree. This way, Scout. Scout, this way. Come on, this way. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Scout. Sit. Good girl. Girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 
Good girl. Hey, yeah, good girl. Fuck, I knew she was gonna do that. Well, this should be interesting. I might have to get telemetry out. Boys of a Cooper's Hawk. There she is. On the tree there. I don't know if you guys can see her. Stay. Hey. Stay. Girl. Hey. Problem's gonna be, she's gonna be pretty full, I think, when she's done eating that. So, somehow, I'm gonna have to get her down. I will attempt to put some bigger stuff on the lure. So, She's not supposed to kill chipmunks. Well, let me rephrase that. Us as falconers, we are not supposed to kill chipmunks. But obviously she's a wild bird and it's kind of hard to control what she goes after. So we try not to uh, bring them into areas where there likely is going to be stuff that she's not supposed to get, but I was, Going along that fence row there, I had seen some woodcocks in there earlier this week. So we were trying to flush some woodcocks. Well, we ended up with a chipmunk. So the rule with it is you can let them eat it in the field, but you have to let it lie. So I will be, well, obviously she's going to eat this whole thing and then hopefully I can actually get her back. That might even be an issue in itself, so we'll see how that goes. But I've got the lure rigged up with a nice chunk of meat for when she's done. Because she's not gonna come down off of that until she's all done eating it. Those chipmunks aren't going to be around much longer though, so you need to learn to get the birds that we're after. Come on. Come on, come on. Hey.
You good girl. Good girl cook. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the bell, and we'll see you guys on our next ACR Outdoors adventure. Okay, come on. Up. Up. And just like that, I should be giving you a high five. <laughs>